Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to use the Selection Manager. The Selection Manager is a tool that allows you to select edges or sketch lines and other sketch entities for sweeps, lofts, and boundaries. And you may be familiar with it from surfacing and using surfacing tools such as your sweeps, lofts, and boundary surfaces, but it can also be used with solids as well. So here you can see we have a cut sweep that's made up of two sketches, a sketch profile and a sketch path. And I want to duplicate that same cut sweep over on this side, but I'm only going to use one sketch for my profile. And I'll do that using the selection manager. So if I create a swept cut and select the profile I want to sweep, rather than specifying a sketch for my path, I can right click in the path selection box and click to launch the selection manager. When I do this, I'll have a little pop-up that allows me to choose different things. So I can select closed loops, open loops, or typically what I want to do is select a group. And what the selection manager will allow me to do is pick multiple edges and put them into one group to be a valid selection for my cut sweep. So I can select multiple edges. I can either just keep clicking them as I go around, or I can click this tangent propagation button, which will pick the rest of the edges for me. So right now I've selected the edges that are going to create my path, and once I click the check mark, I'll place that in as an open group into my cut sweep selection. And you can see the preview there. So if I click the check mark to place that cut sweep, I've now created a similar cut sweep to my other one, except I only have one path, uh, one sketch defining it, this sketch profile here. So we can also use this for lofts. So if I want to create a loft between these two bodies, typically you would want to create a sketch on the face and convert entities of the edges. But if I go into my lofted base command, as my profile, I can right-click to go into the Selection Manager and just select the four edges that make up my first profile, click the check mark to accept them as the first closed group, go back into the Selection Manager, and select the four edges that make up my second profile, click the check mark, and you can see I get a preview of my loft. Now the interesting thing here is when I click the check mark to place this, I have a loft feature that actually has no, no children, no sketches below it, so I can't expand it out. But if I want to go back in and edit my selections, I can edit the feature, right-click on one of my groups, and edit selection. And I can make modifications to the edges I selected here if I want to. So using the selection manager in this way is not necessarily something you might want to do on your production part files, because it could confuse someone who's not familiar with it. But it's another tool you have in your arsenal to be able to rapidly model, and it prevents you from having to create extra sketches just to achieve the geometry you want. So in summary, this was quick, uh, just a quick video showing how to use the Selection Manager. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel. Thank you.